It's me. I, I know you're probably on a work call, but I really need to talk to you. I'm gonna come by your house. I'll see you soon. Bye. Jane. Jane, Jane, please, please, just let, just don't, let me explain. Don't you dare. It's a mistake. You have another woman in your bedroom. She's just a girl that I work with. We were, we were going over some stuff. Oh, right, of course, in your bedroom. It, it didn't start off like that. Jane, I, I didn't plan any of this. I get fired from my job, and the one day I really need you, one day I find you in bed with your co-worker. Jane, I, I swear to you. Wait, what? I got fired today, Aiden. Why? Well, what does it matter now? It matters. Jane, I, Jane, I, don't, I don't care about her at all. I care about you. If, if I'd have known her. Oh, you would have made sure she was gone before I came over here? Here, you can give those to her. She doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Oh, that makes me feel a lot better. Jamie, oh, I'm so sorry I'm late. That's okay. Penthouse viewing was a disaster. The client ran late. Just everything. It's okay. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. We'll definitely need more of these. <laughs> oh. Look at it this way. Things can't get any worse, right? I just, I don't know how I could have been so blind. About the job or about Aiden? Both, I guess. Look, this stinks. I won't pretend otherwise. But the truth is, there are other jobs. Any company would be happy to have you. And as for men, well, the same. <laughs> Thanks, Cassie. But I've made a decision. About? I'm just, I'm tired of it. I can't take it anymore. Take what? This, everything, work, men, the city. Well, sorry, Janie, it's not like you're gonna leave. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Leave the city? Where would you go? Well, it's not like this is the only place on Earth. I mean, although we'd like to believe it is, there are plenty of places I can start over. It's all so fresh right now. Just give it some time. Sleep on it. I already have, Cass. I've, I've thought about it all day, and I've made up my mind. I'm leaving.
Mr. Rodriguez, hi. Is the elevator still down? Hey, good morning, Jane. Yeah, they'll come and fix it later. I was actually gonna call you. Well, looks like I just saved your time. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I'm gonna be moving out. What? No, moving out? But you are one of my favorite tenants. Yeah, I love this place. It's just life, you know? Yeah, I know. I'm really sorry to hear it. And when are you planning on leaving? As soon as possible. Well, you know the 30 days notice is usually required. But since it's not even the 15th yet, let's say by the end of the month. Not sooner. Jane, I'm already bending the rules as it is. That's okay. I've got some things I have to take care of anyway. Thank you, Mr. Rodriguez. Hey, don't mention it. And again, I hate to see you go. We're in this 13, right? How can I help you? A uh, large coffee, please. Black. Great. Preference? The house blend is fine. Wait, uh, how about a squirt of hazelnut? Yeah, it's a good choice. And a scone? Okay. Gotta live a little, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Is there something wrong? No. Uh, I just in case I walk away and you wanted to add to the order, did you say anything you wanted to add? I mean, it's good for business every time I walk away. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Okay. Really. Yeah, I'll take it to your table. There you go. Enjoy. Wait. <laughs> yes? You don't even want to hear the verdict? Oh, yeah, please. That's delicious. Right? Honestly, I wasn't even sure I liked hazelnuts. So the best hazelnuts in the world are grown in Oregon, which is where that is cold pressed on site. I'm Jane. David. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I nice to meet you. feel like you've never been in here before because I think I would have remembered you. Yeah, my usual coffee shop was closed for renovations. Mm. And this is just a few blocks from my house. I, I walk past here all the time. I just have never stopped in. Well, their loss is our gain. <laughs> May I? Please. So, do you work here full time? For something's brewing, yeah, I do. I, well, we have stores all throughout the city, so I kind of just go wherever they need me. Kind of like a coffee ambassador. <laughs> right, yeah, I like that. Can I use that? That's, that's, that's good. What, what do you do? What's your 
line of work? Well, up until about 24 hours ago, I was the senior vice president of a large marketing firm. I see. Sounds like there's a story there. <laughs> story for another time. Let's make that happen. Make what happen? Another time. Let me take you out. Uh, sure. Great. <laughs> yeah, great. I'm gonna let you finish your coffee and your scone before you change your mind. I think myself scarce. Oh, David, I've, I yeah. haven't paid yet. Yeah, no, it's fine. Enjoy. Pay later. And free number. Something's brewing. Brought to you by Trap. What's a date date? You know, the kind where if it goes well, you think it might turn into something more serious. And this isn't that? Cask, he's a traveling barista, and I'm only going to be in town for another three weeks. It's not exactly a good foundation for a long-term relationship. Then why go at all? You know, I asked myself that very question. And what did you come up with? He's sweet, and he's charming, and he's really good looking, and after everything I've been through, I think I deserve to have a little fun. Hey, you'll get no argument from me, but you just don't sound like the Jane I know. Yeah, well, the Jane that you know was fired and cheated on all on the same day. I didn't see either one coming. So, maybe it's time to switch things up a little bit, you know? Okay, okay, I won't say anything else. Just go have fun. Hi. Hi. You look great. Me? Yeah, you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. What's this? I thought we were going out to eat. This is what's known as a picnic basket. You ever seen one of these before? Mm, only in the movies. Well, now it's coming to you live in person. <laughs> we're going to go try one of these out. It's actually a uh, spot walking distance from here. How do those things walk? Guess we'll see. All right, let's go. I mean, once we hit grass, maybe you just take them off. Okay. I mean, I'll take mine off. You take yours off. You obviously know a little more than coffee. I've been called a foodie before. It's fine. <laughs> but, no, it's funny. When I was a kid, most kids want pizza. I wanted pate. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I bet that got very expensive for your parents. Sure, and probably very annoying, too. <laughs> Ten years I've lived in this city, and I had no idea this place even existed. It's definitely one of the city's unsung gems, for sure. I mean, I didn't know about it until maybe five years ago, when I got into urban fishing. Urban fishing? Yeah, it's totally a thing. <laughs> it, most people go in streams or rivers, maybe even the ocean, but, you know, every city has got a great spot like this. You just, you gotta get out there and, and find it. Well, I'm just happy we're not fishing for our lunch today. Oh, no. We would definitely not be eating any fish that comes out of there. No way. You want some wine? Sure. This is uh, Australian. It's from the Barossa Valley. It's really into Italian wines for a while. It's kind of got burnt out, so I've been drinking a lot of wines from South Africa and Australia. So, try it. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm, I like it. It's fruitier than what I'm used to. 
And she's got a great palate. See, <laughs> you know your wine, you know your coffee. Well, I'm still an amateur when it comes to wine, but I come by my coffee knowledge, honestly. Before I was let go, one of my biggest accounts was Caribbean coffee. Really? Yeah, they're, they're big. Yeah, they keep getting bigger every day. <laughs> I handled their account for years. I didn't need to be an expert on coffee, but it did help me to educate myself if I was going to handle their marketing. Yeah, sure. Do you carry their brand in your stores? We do not carry their brand because it would just compete with ours, so it wouldn't make sense. But I, I've had their coffee. It's, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> You know so much about wine and coffee and charcuterie. Have you ever thought about doing something on your own? I'm sorry. I should mind my own business. No, no, it's fine. Uh, it's just... I'm happy where I am. being happy where we are. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for today. I had a really wonderful time. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so did I. Next time, bring the fishing poles. All right. So that means that there's going to be a next time? Well, that depends. On? On you. I'm an old fashioned kind of gal. Well, I would very much like there to be a next time. <laughs> if you oblige me. <laughs> Miss? Call me. I will. I want all the juicy details before our French toast comes. There are no juicy details. He was a perfect gentleman. I put off a showing this morning to hear all about it, and this is what you give me? What do you want me to say? The whole point of this was to have fun, not to take things slow like it's a real relationship. I know, I know. It's just, he's a lot more different than I would have thought. How so? He's very dreamy. <laughs> he is very dreamy, but that's not what I was going to say. He's very sophisticated, that's all. Hmm. Any news on the job, friend? Or are you really throwing in the towel until you leave? A few headhunters have reached out, but I haven't gotten back to them. I'm only going to say this one more time. Cass, no, please. I, as much as I love you, I just, I can't. I just don't understand why. I've been telling you for years to come and work for us. The hours are good, the pay is competitive. Because I've spent my entire career in food, not real estate. Marketing is marketing. It would take you a week to get up to speed, and after that, you'd feel right at home. I just, I can't make a decision like that right now. One day at a time, huh? It's okay, I get it. So, the big question is, are you going to see David again? You know, I haven't decided yet. Okay. How in the world did you find out about this place? Can you believe we're only a quarter mile from one of our stores? It's like a world away. Hey, you know, that's, that's the point. <clears throat> you know, being with you, it's like I'm a tourist in my own town. Stop. <laughs> I mean, something's brewing, got stores all over the city and I try, I try and work in all of them and the reason being is so I can get out and explore the surrounding areas.
You're like a walking, talking guidebook. <laughs> you know, you live in a city, you forget about how close nature is, and I, mean, I don't know about you, but I need to get out and, and be reminded. And I was so obsessed with my work, I never stopped to smell the roses. Literally. Are you allowed to do that? Probably not. <laughs> beautiful. Stop it. Absolutely. Positively. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, but do you think... Maybe we should get going? Actually, we could stay here forever. I mean, I feel like I could too, except... Uh... Let's... Sorry. Sorry, I just had allergies. You okay? I have I just, I, yeah, I'm fine, except I think... Are you sure? Yeah, it's just... It's just yeah, it's good. I just, did, I, did you have a tissue? Did you... Let's, let's, let's get you some allergies. Can I use the sleeves? <laughs> no, 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 you wouldn't know. You would never know. You can't see it, but... <laughs> and you know when they don't come out? You know, you just, it's just like, come on, you just, I'm stuck. I'm in between seasons. That's what we're looking for. Look who's on Up TV every weeknight at 8. May I help you? Jane Peterson to see Ellen Rogers. Please, have a seat. I'll let her know you're here. Okay. Miss Rogers will see you now. If you'll follow me. Okay. <sighs> Jane Peterson, a pleasure to... to the pleasure's mine. Have a seat. Thank you for agreeing to see me so quickly. Of course. Let's get some light in here. Well, I am sorry to hear about what happened at X Factor. Oh. <laughs> if you don't mind me asking, how did you hear? Well, I'm head of recruitment here at Peterson Strock, so it's my job to know these things. And perhaps one company's loss may be our gain. Well, since you made the effort to reach out to me, Miss Rogers, I... Please, please, call me Ellen. Ellen, I feel obligated to tell you that I haven't even considered my next move yet. I understand, and I am not in a position to offer you anything yet, anyway. But I did want to tell you that I have been following your career, and I am very impressed. Your former clients speak very highly of you. Well, I've been fortunate to work with some really strong brands always stronger after you took over their accounts. Now, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but once you figured out what it is that you want to do, and if the idea of a multinational marketing firm appeals to you, again, then you can talk more specifics. Well, one thing I do know for sure, Ellen, is wherever I decide to go next, I will need the option to work remotely. I don't plan on living in the city much longer. Oh, well, we do prefer that our senior executives work on site. But you know what? We can just cross that bridge when we come to it. That sounds great. Great. Thank you for coming in. Thank you so much. Sure. Have a good day. You too. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Real good, actually. Is there any chance that I can take you out to dinner tonight? Maybe. On one condition. Oh, okay. What's that? You let me pick the place. Prove to you I know just as much about this city as you do. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Have you ever been to Blue Moon? Have not. I have heard of it, though. It's, uh, it's my favorite. How about I pick you up and we go together? Um, I, it's probably better if I just, I meet you there, actually. 
you sure? I know the best way to get there. Yeah. Uh, no, well, it's just I, um, I'm probably going to have to come to work directly, so it, it's, it'll be easier if I just meet you there. Okay. So, um, see you tonight? Seven okay? That's perfect. I'll see you then. Bye. So, so, tell me. I'll tell you. <laughs> How long have you worked at the coffee shop? Uh, actually, uh, since I graduated college. Where you majored in coffee studies, I assume. They were offering that? <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> I actually survived college of instant coffee and whatever cheap swell they were serving down at the Union. Yeah, so it wasn't until my graduation present, which my grandparents gave me, um, was a espresso maker. But it was one of those big, like brass, amazing ones that belong in a museum. You know, I, yeah, they got that for me. And I had one espresso out of there. I was hooked. <laughs> that was it. Yeah. But, but what, what about you? What about me? Well, did you always want to be a high powered marketing executive? <laughs> Uh, well, after ballerina and equestrian and astronaut all fell through, I kind of just fell into it, you know, as one does. Yeah. yeah. I mean, did you ever consider, like, merging those two, like equestrian and, and, and astronaut or something? Yeah, I discovered I was allergic to horses and afraid of heights. <sighs> Bummer. That's a tough one to overcome. No. <laughs> I, I, I was serious, by the way. Serious. I don't know any marketing executives that plan to do it as a career. And in my case, I got a job writing copy for an energy drink company right out of college. And I moved over to X Factor when they won the account. And I liked it well enough. And I kept getting promoted, so I stayed. Well, I, I knew a marketing executive once that I worked with at the coffee shop, who I hope to never see ever again. That's a story for another time. Um, okay, well, let's talk about something a little more important. Please. Food. Great. <laughs> I like it. Do you like this place so far? I, it's, 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 it's wine selection. It's amazing. And this atmosphere is uh, mm, sublime. Is that when people use that mm -hmm. word when they're not talking about the band? <laughs> um, the company is, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> So have you really never been here before? I have really never been here before. Is it close to your house? Uh, yeah, well, it, well uh, you know, it's, uh, I mean, what, what are you ordering here? Uh, what are you getting? Uh, normally I get the gnocchi, but I don't think I want something so heavy tonight. Okay. What about you? I am going to order the longest thing on the menu, which is the pistachio crusted brook trout, which will be interesting because I'm allergic to nuts. But I'm a man of my word, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> Sounds delicious. Yeah. Why? I remember looking at that tree and thinking, there must be more lights on that tree than there are stars in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> is that silly? No, no, I, I think it's great, actually. This is me. I, yeah, I remember. Thank you for dinner. Thank me, thank you for taking me to that place. It was great. Except. What? I mean, no dessert. How, how do we go to that place and just not get dessert? I actually I think you're a monster. I was. Cool. No, setting me up. You know, you were like, no, we're not going to get the gnocchi because we're going to get that delicious flourless chocolate cake that that guy's talking about. At the end, you're just like, nah, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> Left behind dry. It's torture. Torture. I know. Terrible. And I would love to do it again sometime. Definitely. Okay. Uh, good night. Good night.
I, I feel like I'm falling. So what? Just because you didn't plan for this doesn't mean it can't happen. I know. No, I just, I can't shake this feeling that he's hiding something from me. Mm. You think he's a spy? Very funny. A polygamist. Cassie, you're trying to be serious. Janie, look, you already know he's a barista. He knows you're an executive. What could he be hiding? He didn't want me to see his place. He, he wouldn't even tell me where he lived. Maybe it's a shoebox apartment and maybe he's embarrassed. I don't know. I think it's something else. You just told me you like him, right? So, don't know what happened with Aiden Color. That's not what I'm doing. Do you think that's what I'm doing? What I do know is that you vow to have some fun before you leave the city, so have your fun. Don't worry about it. Que sera, sera. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Oh. <laughs> what? What? He's really good looking. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. Not everything has to be so serious. You're allowed to enjoy yourself. What if that's what I want? Something serious. Ooh, then Miss Janie, we have a problem. But trust me, it's a good problem to have. <laughs> through the best excuse to tell you. Rogue or strike? Excuse me? Oh, is your kid a rogue or a strike? Oh, uh... Rogue. By Tiffany? She's a strike. So she's on Coach David's team. You know Coach David? No, I, I've just heard of him. Mm -hmm. Oh. I heard he was really good with the girls. He's the best. He's so patient, understanding. But, you know, he is single. <laughs> really? If only. <laughs> but a girl can still browse the merchandise, can't she? <laughs> Two? Oh, uh, excuse me. Oh, yeah. Normally? Yeah. No. Hi. What are you doing here? Are you busy? Not at all. Here. <sighs> What's wrong? I did it. I followed him, Cass. I followed David. What do you mean? Exactly what I said. I, I went to the coffee shop, I waited for him to get off, and I followed him. Why? What do you think? To 
see where he went, to see why he wouldn't tell me where he lived. And what did you find, Sherlock? Well, he went to a park. Oh, the plot thickens. <laughs> Let me finish. He went to a park because he coaches a little girl softball team, and I'm pretty sure that one of the girls is his daughter. You sure? No, I'm not sure, sure, but he had his arm around one of the little girls. And how many guys coach a little girl softball team unless one of them is their daughter? He never mentioned his daughter to you? No. I mean, I, I would remember something like that. Well, look, you have to ask him. It's as simple as that. Yeah, really simple. What am I gonna say? Oh, oh, hi, David. Things were going so great between us that I decided to follow you. And by the way, do you have a daughter? Well, I wouldn't put it exactly like that, you know? <laughs> There's no good way to put it. Well, you have to say something. No, I have, I, I have to do something. I just, I don't know what. I'm sorry to bother you at work. Never a bother. Always a welcome distraction. Wow. <laughs> I know. Simple curiosity. That's what led oh. Zinza to this map. Oh boy. You're a realtor. Last time I checked. I need you to find David's address for me. No. What? I said no. I hate to refuse you, Janie, but I'm not going to enable you anymore. Okay? If you want his address, ask him. I can't. Why not? Because I don't want to. Listen, you can find his address as easily as I can. Tax records are public documents. I can't. I already tried. Chas, how long have we been friends? A long time. And in all of that time, have I ever asked you for a favor? I mean, a, a real favor. Not that I can remember. Well, I'm asking you now. If I get this for you, will you talk to him? Have an honest conversation? Yes, I will. I promise. Oh, hold on. And now I have to go. Uh, thank you, Cass. I love you. Okay? Bye. Bye. Hello? Hello, Jane. It's Ellen Rogers with Peters and Strzok. Hi, good morning. Good morning. I wanted to call and tell you that I have been thinking more about our conversation, and I know I said that working remotely is not an optimal situation for our company, but there may be some leeway. If that's the case, would you be interested in talking further? I would. Thank you. Great. I will be in touch, and we can set something up. That sounds great. Thank you, Ellen. Goodbye, Jane. Good evening, ma'am. How are you? I'm good. What can I get for you? I'll have what she's having. Oh. You owe me big time, and drinks are on you tonight because I have to pay a search fee. Okay. Of course. Anything. What's... What's this? What do you think? It's his address. Do you know where this is? I mean, real estate, Janie, of course I know where that is. But this doesn't make any sense. You asked me for the address. You didn't ask me to explain it. And you're sure it's his? It's in his name. He pays the taxes. But hey, I know one way to be sure. Ask him. I don't know. I want to. I just don't want to ruin anything. If the two of you have something you're afraid of ruining, then you definitely deserve to know the truth. I know. I know. You're right. I can tell you one thing. This man of yours has got a lot more interesting. I was just I I was just going for a walk. Oh. Yeah? Mm -hmm. In the neighborhood? Okay, I, I thought it was weird how evasive you were being about where you lived, and so I I got curious. So you followed me? No. I had my friend Cassie, who is a real estate agent, for your tax record so I could know where you lived. 
I don't know if that's like better, but you could just ask me directly. I know, that's what she said. So this is yours, then? Yeah. So you're not really a barista, then? Well, baristas by definition prepare and serve coffee. So technically, I, yeah, I'm a barista. But that's not all you are. Something's Brewing is my store. I own it. All of them. Uh, yeah, I, I opened my first one after I got out of college. It went well. So for the last decade, we've been opening store after store. How, how many stores do you own? How many? 47. And what about your daughter? How do you know about her? I saw you two together at the softball game. So you were following us. I, 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 I didn't follow you today. Today. Oh, okay, all right. Look, you have every reason to be mad at me. I invaded your privacy, and it's just that the more time we spent together, the less it felt I, like... I didn't say I was mad at you. You're not? No, no, but, but I interrupted you, sorry. You were saying something about the more time that we were spending together. I <laughs> didn't want to stop you there. The more time we spent together, the less it felt like this was just something I was doing to have fun before I left. It felt like this could be real. <laughs> Do you know anything about sprinklers? No. Since you're here, I'm kidding. You want to come in for a drink? Sure. <laughs> I was really kidding about the sprinkler thing. But if you do know something, I could use all the help I could get. Because I don't know what is going on. I can't fix this. Thing. Come on there. <laughs> this, yeah, it's a, uh, I don't know, it, it's, a, it's a gigantic see-through refrigerator. I, I like wine, I don't know. There's more of interesting parts of the house. Oh, my, it's so beautiful. Thanks. Yeah, I can only take credit for two decisions. I hired the architects, I hired the interior designer. That's it. Okay, so tell me, if you own the company, then why do you work? Work in the stores? Because I find office work soul crushing. I can never just sit behind a desk. That's why I have a CFO and an attorney and all the people in the office. They do that stuff for me. And I like to work in the trenches. You know, what better place to get market research than right there in front of the customer, you know? So I like being a barista, okay? Plus, you get to see more of the city that way. I was honest about all of that, okay? Like, how else would I know about all these great places that other people don't know exist? You could have told me. You know, you could have told me the truth. But would you look to me in the same way? Exactly. Was this your daughter? Yeah, it's Mandy. She is 10 now. Oh, she looks just like you. Oh, let's hope for her sake that changes. She's adorable. Thank you. And her mom? Divorced. Yeah, uh, for about five years now. There's no juicy story there. Just college sweethearts that never should have been married. So. Does Mandy live with her mom? Uh, we have joint custody, so Mandy splits her time between the two of us. It's amiable. Mm. Yeah. Do you like kids? Sure. <laughs> I 
haven't really been around them that much, so. Do you want to meet her? Does she normally meet your girlfriends? I mean, not, I, I didn't mean it like that, not girlfriends, but does she normally meet, you know? I, I, hey, I know what you meant, and no, she has never met one of my girlfriends. <laughs> What, what, what is it? It's just so big. Uh, yeah, I know. It's a bit much for a single guy. I get it. Um, we moved in here shortly after Mandy was born. So it's the only home she's ever known. I think I'd like to meet her. Great. <laughs> But for now, there's something else I want to show you in the kitchen. Okay. Yeah, come on. Look who's on Up TV every weeknight at 8. This dad's out and up. Bella, you're the simple girl who got swept off her feet by the handsome and wealthy prince. Thanks. Yeah, I wasn't exactly sweeping floors, you know. Ladies, your table is now available if you'll follow me. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you don't look as happy as you should be. Girl, you lied to me, Cass. Thank you. He didn't lie. He simply held back the whole truth. That's a lie in my book. Well, can you blame him, really? Imagine how many women are interested in him for his money. He needs to protect his daughter. From me? Anyone he's interested in. Kids can get confused. Well, I'm confused. I mean, where's this relationship even going? I'm still leaving in a few weeks. No one's forcing you to. Well, Cass, he has a kid. So? So I'm not exactly the maternal type. And a week ago, you weren't the type to give an ordinary barista a second look. Where did you leave it with him? Janie. I'm meeting her. The daughter. When? This weekend. We're going to the aquarium. Less pressure that way. On who? I don't know. The fish? <laughs> It'll be fine. She'll love you. Just be yourself. I don't know. When kids get involved, it's just... You like him, right? You know I do. Then you have to take the whole package. And from what you're telling me so far, the package is pretty great. Let's eat. Let's eat. I'm starving. Okay. I think one of them sees me. Oh, honey, I don't think that is true, because the jellyfish don't have eyes. Then how do they know where they're going? They have uh, sensors, so it's sort of like a light sensor that sort of indicates where they're supposed to turn. I don't think that's a thing. It is totally a thing. Do you see a brain in there? I, I, they have no central nervous system. So they'll never be nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so How do you know so much about jellyfish? I used to go down to the seashore to visit my grandparents every summer, and I used to get stung a lot, so I just started to learn about them. Dad, you got stung? Yes, many times. And you know what I gathered from all my research? You see a jellyfish, you stay away. I can't touch any of them? No, absolutely not. But if you want to, there, I saw actually something really cool down this hallway. This guy, get this guy. Oh. Come on. Right? It's their little tiny teeth that they have. I mean, because they, they have the same kind of skin as sharks. Will they bite me? They don't bite. They don't bite. They just swallow 10 year old girls. <laughs> they don't use any tiny. Of course, it's not dangerous, honey. How's wrong with me? Uh, I don't know. Please, please. Just yeah. stick it in the water. I think it's fine. And once one comes by. <gasps> Oh, you gotta get, 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 come on, you gotta really reach in there. Come on, get him. Come on. Here comes my see? Just gotta line him up. Gotta reel him in. <laughs> 
go. No, no. <laughs> um, should we maybe get something to eat before we go home, honey? Are you hungry? Sure. Yeah. Can we see the sharks first? Yes. Great idea. After we wash our hands. Okay. So what was your favorite thing to see today? A jellyfish? Uh, no, a sea anemone. A sea anemone? Why? Are you listening? The sea anemone can just pop up clones of himself whenever they want. They never have to be lonely. Honey, you have plenty of friends. You have nothing to worry about. Do I look like a sea anemone to you? <laughs> Fair enough. It's pretty good. So do you work for my dad or something? No, honey, I don't. <laughs> but we did meet in one of his stores. What, well, can I tell you a secret? Sure. I hate coffee. <laughs> well, I hated it too when I was your age. Better learn to love it, kiddo, if you're going to take over the business one day. Dad, Just saying. I'll never do that. What do you want to do when you grow up, Mandy? I want to be a veterinarian. Marianne? I think that's an excellent idea. Thank you. Like a salami, but they call it a, a food mm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't come up with this stuff. Um, <laughs> I would invite you in, but somebody has got to get ready. Your mother's coming to pick you up. I know, you know that, right? I know. You told me like 10,000 times. Yeah, I just never know if you're listening to me. I'm it, always listening. It, it's okay. I gotta get going anyway. But thank you for allowing me to come with you today. I had the best time, and it was really wonderful to meet you. <laughs> He's never introduced me to one of his lady friends before. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? You're not going to get far without these, Missy. Good catch. <laughs> Thank you, kind sir. <laughs> Bye, Hurry James. up. Get packing. So you really had a good time? I did. I had a wonderful time. Thank you. Uh, she's right. You know, I have not introduced her to any of my friends. Well, that makes me feel really special. Oh my gosh, what <laughs> just happened in there? My daughter, by the way, she is very clumsy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what is... That didn't sound good. No. <laughs> oh, I, okay, I gotta get in there. Uh, wait. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. No, fine, fine. fine. <laughs> you know, people wait in line for this stuff. You know, this is a hazelnut coffee, if you want it, and a cinnamon scone. Not the mixed berry that you had the other day, but arguably a better combination. Mm, you remembered. Occupational hazard. Orders I never forget. Names, faces, but never orders. Well, thank you. If I'm going to be woken up, I can't think of a better way. Good. I'm glad. Except I can't take full credit. It's actually Mandy's idea. She wanted to thank you for the other day. She's like, Dad, flowers are so lame. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, fine. Well, I do love flowers, but I'll take a coffee and a pastry over them any day. Good. Well, enjoy them. Maybe back in bed. <laughs> Wait, did you, did you want to come in? Or... I'll call you later. Something's brewing. Brought to you by Trackbone Notice. Oh, it's my pleasure, really. This isn't the kind of conversation I like to have on the phone. To be frank, it's not very often we get a chance to get someone with your reputation and experience. Now, I know I told you about how our company feels about working remotely, but I did talk to a few of our partners and they've all agreed. If you do decide to join us, we're willing to work with you. That's very generous, Ellen, thank you. 
but you would have to hammer out all the details with the VP of personnel, of course. And not that we're committing to anything yet, either of us. I just wanted to gauge your interest and let you know that you'd be overseeing the Brew and View account. Brew and View? Yes. They're one of our largest accounts. And because of your experience with Caribbean coffee, we thought you'd be a perfect fit. <sighs> Can I think about it? Of course, yes. Go home, think about it, and call me your other's convenience. Hey David, it's Jane. I was just calling to say thank you for the coffee and scone. You're right, I did prefer the cinnamon. <laughs> uh, give me a call whenever you get this. I, I need to talk to you about something. In, in person would be better. Okay. So yeah, call me. You. you said you didn't want me to just walk on in, so I bust first. The main door was already open. So you're really moving out, huh? Did you have any doubt? Kind of hoping you'd reconsider. Anyway, you think I could borrow a few of your boxes? You came here to move all your stuff out and you didn't bring any moving boxes? I just have my clothes and a few books. I mean, you could toss the toiletries and honestly, everything we bought together, you can keep. Oh, great. I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of that basketball hoop for the bathroom. Well, so, should we uh, do this? You think I'm helping you? Well, two people would go a lot faster. Just hurry up. I have a lot of stuff I have to do today. Hey David, it's Jane. I'm sorry to keep calling again. I've, I've called a few times and sent some text messages. I hope, I hope nothing's wrong. 
Give me a call when you get this. I really need to talk to you. I know what's happening. He's ghosting you. What? G ghosting? It's what they call it when one person in a relationship just suddenly cuts off all contact with the other. But we weren't even in a relationship. And you can't think of anything that might have happened? Something you did or said that may have seemed harmless at the time? No. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm telling you, Cass, it was a perfect day. Maybe the kid said something to him. Well, she had the most fun out of everyone. You never know. Kids are weird. Not this one. Trust me. I made sure not to overstep my bounds, and she couldn't have been sweeter. She even hugged me goodbye. And maybe David didn't like that, you know? Overprotective father, not wanting his daughter to get hurt, you know, when things end. Well, then why introduce me to her in the first place? I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. It's a mystery. Well, at least there's one thing I don't have to worry about anymore. What's that? I got offered a job. Great. Where? Peters and Strzok. It's a marketing firm. It's even bigger than X Factor. You're going to take it, right? I haven't decided yet. There's an issue. Salary? Actually, we haven't discussed it, but I assume it would be competitive. But they're making you stay in the city? That was a sticking point, but eventually they caved. What then? One of my accounts, the one that they would actually be bringing me on to manage, is one of David's biggest competitors. Are you crazy? What? You're seriously considering not taking the job because of him? What? Well, I haven't decided on anything yet, Cass. Janie, come on. I mean, this might be an issue. Might be if you were dating him for years, but you just met him. Plus, and I don't want to sound insensitive, but you know, I think he's made it pretty clear that whatever you thought the two of you had is over. I know. It's insane that you're even considering his feelings right now. Janie, look at me. Promise me. Promise me you'll take the job. What I will promise you is that I'm going to get an explanation out of him. pretty obvious you're avoiding me. So I don't expect you to return my call. I just, I just called because I wanted to tell you, I just, I wanted to tell you that, that you're the worst. I thought we had something, something really special and for you to just, end things without even the courtesy of an explanation. It just, it shows me what kind of man you really are.
say goodbye to Mandy for me. She's really wonderful. I appreciate how you've been doing the work with me, Ellen. And because of that, I am excited to tell you how thrilled I am to be a part of the Peters and Strock team. Great. I think you're going to be a wonderful addition. I just know it. <laughs> Thank you. So you talk to HR, personnel, benefit, salary. It's all handled. I'm just eager to get started. Great. I'm going to let you talk to Felix, and he'll explain to you the full spectrum of your responsibilities. But I do want you to get started immediately on Green and View. I'm just curious, is there any reason why time is so much of the essence? Well, Bruin View has a very aggressive expansion schedule, especially in the city. And because there's such a finite amount of real estate, a big part of your job is going to be to try to take market share away from their competitors. Their competitors? Yes, you know, chains like Steep Right In, Angelique's, something's Bruin. What do I owe this honor? You're angry. What do you expect? I tried calling you, I tried texting you. Do you know how stupid that makes me feel? You have to just let me explain. I don't have to do anything. If you give me a few minutes, I, I would like to explain. Okay. Carry your groceries? Okay, so talk. Hey, should we sit? No, I'm fine. And your few minutes has already started. Well, I got your message. I thought I would just come by and surprise you. And then when I do, I find you in the doorway with some guy. That was Aiden, my ex-boyfriend, who I told you about. Okay, well, you looked awfully comfortable with him, and so, you know, I couldn't help but feel like the fool. But really what I'm thinking about the whole time in the back of my head is my daughter and how close the two of you are getting, and I really don't want her getting hurt. So that's why you ghosted me. 
ghosted you. What? No, mind. It's just... David, Aiden was just here packing up the rest of his things. We're, we're completely finished. Completely? Completely. For good. For good. Why didn't you just ask me about this? I don't know. I'm sorry. Really, I, I, I should have just asked you, but I'm sorry. Okay? And I have to tell you, I have really missed you. Missed you too. I, I do need to tell you something too, actually. Okay. Um, maybe, maybe we should sit down. Oh yeah, that was my original idea. Do you, do you want like a, a drink or anything? Uh, Jane, it kind of seems like you're stalling now. I accepted a new job in marketing. Great. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Um, the, the, the thing is, is they hired me because of my coffee experience. Okay. My clients brew and view. I'm, I'm supposed to help them expand their market share. You know who that is. You know what that means to me. And I'm not talking about just my competition. I know. I know. It's just... I mean, isn't there enough coffee to go around? <laughs> this is not funny. No, I don't think it's funny. I, I didn't expect you to get so upset about it. How did you think I was going to react? David, if it's not me, it's gonna be somebody else. That's your justification? You know how much my company means to me. It is the way that I take care of my daughter. It's not personal. Oh, it's personal. Sorry, okay. Those who work... Jenny. Jenny, hello? What? Huh? I said, may I? Oh, yeah. I'm not hungry anymore. So good. Mm. I give you my food and you won't even give me advice? I'm sorry, Jenny. This is a decision you have to make for yourself. Well, I'll make the decision myself. You're my best friend. That's what you're here for. What if I give you the wrong advice? Like you said, I'll make the decision. I just want to know what you think. Okay, you want to know what I really think? I know how important your career is to you and I know how good you are at it. But the truth is, there are other jobs. There will always be other jobs. But there's only one David. Wow, I'm surprised. Why? Because just the other day, you were the one who thought I was practically out of my mind for even considering his feelings. And that was before you told me why he stopped calling you. Um, that's if you really believe him. Of course I believe him. I mean, Aiden was really at my apartment and I'm sure David saw him and misinterpreted things. Oh, well, there you go. Where do I go? The choice is simple. The man or the job. Simple? We call that simple? <laughs> okay, well, I said the choice is simple. The decision is just I'm glad I'm not in your shoes. Tell me about it. 
I am sure your head is spinning, but I promise you things will slow down and start to make sense. <laughs> it's fine, really. I'm used to hitting the ground running. Good. I would introduce you to Felix Castro right now, who's been handling the count temporarily. Come in. This is Felix. Jane, what an absolute pleasure to meet you. I've been looking forward to your arrival. Thank you, Felix. I'm glad to be here. I'll let you two get acquainted. Jane, just come find me when you're finished, okay? Okay. I'm sure you know that other companies have their fiefdoms, but I can assure you, you won't find that here. Bruinview is a very big opportunity for us, and I can really use your expertise. That's refreshing to hear. I think you're going to like the executives over there. They're highly ambitious, proactive, well-capitalized, so they'll spare no expense going after the competitors. Now, let me share with you some of the other details. You can look at the financial standards at your leisure, balance sheets, quarterlies, etc., but I think what's of utmost importance is the various rows. I mean, tell me if I'm wrong, but I'm going to be the worst idea to do the things that are talking about. Mm -hmm. person you're meeting with is here. What? There's someone waiting for you out in the cafe. She said she's a coffee consultant. I don't think I have anything scheduled today. Do I have something scheduled? No. Do you want me to just tell her that you're not here then, or? No, it's fine. I'll see what it's all about. OK. I did take it, but I quit my first day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, when I went in there and I saw all the details of what I'd be doing in black and white, I just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't imagine going into that office every day knowing that what I was doing was hurting you. I didn't, I didn't want that. That's... And, and I also... I couldn't imagine coming home every day and not seeing you. Well, uh, wait a second, aren't you still leaving town? I thought I'd give this city a second chance. I met this really wonderful tour guide who showed me all kinds of places I never even knew existed. Did you know? What are you going to do about your apartment? I thought you said your landlord found another tenant the minute you gave your notice, isn't that? That's true. That's true. But Cassie worked her magic and found me a new place. A lot nicer than my old one, a lot cheaper, too. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Does it also happen to be close by? Well, that's going to be really convenient for your new job. David, weren't you listening? I said I quit that job. I'm not talking about the one you quit. I'm talking about the one I hope you'll accept. What are you talking about? Come consult for us at Something's Brewing. Whatever offer that you turn down, I will top it. Are you just offering me this because you... You're incredibly smart and talented. And you know something about coffee, right? Just a little bit. That's great. And that'll just give me another opportunity to ask you out, and hopefully you'll accept it there, too. Well, that one I'm going to have to think about. <laughs> Good. You're coming with us for B12. 
it tonight, right? Are you kidding? I wouldn't miss it. Okay. <laughs> No. <laughs> good game. Good game. We lost. What are you talking about? Good game. <laughs> well, that's because the coach knows more about coffee beans than he does softball. What you can control coffee beans. You ever try controlling ten year olds? Get it. Forget it. Never gonna happen. Well, there's always next game. Oh, okay, so does this mean we got a new strikers fan? Sort of. I kind of have a crush on the coach. Huh. That's too bad. Why is that? Hey, I hear he's hooked up head over heels for some really beautiful girl that I'd introduce you to. <gasps> if... chính là lý do bảo là ăn riêng đấy kiểu nhiều khi mình muốn ăn cái gì bây giờ có để con mấy con rồi thì, thì ít ra ngoài hoặc chứ thật mới cưới hồng bồ phí bọn em toàn ra ngoài hầu như tuần phải đến ba bốn buổi thì chị đấy nói là bếp bếp chung nhưng mà dạo này á chị có từ lúc đi làm có bao giờ chị đi ăn cơm nhà đâu chưa thì ăn ở đây tối thì ăn đi ăn linh tinh Hãy subscribe cho kênh Ghiền Mì Gõ Để không bỏ lỡ những video hấp dẫn 
còn không không cần mà kiểu như em kiểu tính bán lì hơn ấy. ít nói hơn nhưng mà bán bán không có bán lì thì nó phục vụ mà không phải một việc mà rất nhiều việc thảo nào thảo nào thơ thơ thẩn thẩn hết cả buổi đúng rồi cái đợt bầu bí về đi làm về mình đã mệt mỏi rồi chưa ông bà ăn muộn xong mà mở có ông bà nghỉ ngơi về đến nhà lăn tay bằng nồi niêu xong chảo các thứ rồi không buồn sợ vào cái gì luôn nếu ngày không dọn thì bảo là con này nó lười nó méo đó mà nó dọn thì mệt hết cả người đấy bảy phát chục bảy của ông bà mà cái giống nhà đấy mà giống như đấy làm cái gì xong không bao giờ gọn gàng rửa luôn ụp hết và để hết vào cái bồn đấy bồn 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 rửa bồn bồn rửa bọ rửa bát đấy xong cứ xả đầy nước trong ngâm ở đấy nó cứ nó cứ mỡ mảng lênh láng là mình không một giờ thò cái tay vào để mà mình rửa này em chỉ ra cả vào ra quá ông bà lấy luôn cái đường tay à đang tay thì sẵn mà trong nó vẫn kiểu luôn mình đã mệt mỏi con nhìn một đống một mớ nó rồn vào Bây giờ thì mình vừa cùng cái một tô xong bức tranh là một hình trái tim và những chiếc lông vũ như này Ờ đấy không nhìn thấy là nhìn chào rồi ạ Theo dõi mình đã được tối em mình sớm bỏ vào hơi ạ Tại cần đợi đến tối nữa